Hi, and we're back with our last episode on beetles. And right now I am holding a really beautiful female Goliath beetle. So I begged Jason to let us do one last episode on beetles because just look at these guys. They're so cute. I mean, look at her. She has such beautiful big eyes. She even looks like she has little eyelashes and she's cleaning her little face right now. She has a fuzzy butt. She has cute little haircuts. Jason, please just explain what all these cute features actually are on these beautiful little winged friends. Sure thing. But first, I agreed to do this last episode if we get to showcase my personal favorite, the Goliath beetle. This is one of the coolest insects on earth and we're one of the few insectariums to regularly breed them and get them to their full adult sizes in the males. This is uh, not a common thing you'd see, so we're very proud of these. They are not easy. Anyway, back to your question. So some of these fun parts. So I'll take one of these males and we can kind of show them on him as well. So as is common in most large scarabs, males are bigger than females. They tend to have brighter colors, they have head horns, and they do have these little eyelash things. So those are actually their antennae. And beetles in the scarab family have these short antennae with little clubs that actually open up into little leaflets. So it kind of looks like eyelashes. Very beautiful. And so the big, beautiful round orbs, they, that is their eyes, right? Like yep, that's the eyes. So they have, just like other insects, large compound eyes. So that if you looked really closely, they're made of many tiny little eyes, and each individual one is called an omatidium. Um, but in the beetles, the omatidia are very small and it looks like one smooth eye. And just look at, just, just take a moment to appreciate like her fuzzy butt. She has a fuzzy <laughs> butt. That's so cute. Yeah, so he has it. a fuzzy butt. And fuzzy legs. And fuzzy legs. I mean, just like look at the styling. These are just such beautiful mm -hmm. little creatures. So what do you think the fuzz is for? Mm, being cute. And anyway, <laughs> it does make them attractive to the opposite sex. Um, it actually acts as a pheromone wick. So a lot of beetles are covered in hairs, especially along the body and legs, to help those uh, smells get into the air more quickly so they can find each other. And they actually, uh, males and females, both seek out other beetles and they basically form these big groups and uh, the bigger they get, the stronger they smell and that's how they find each other. Once the oh, groups cute. form, the males duke it out over the territory and the females. Um, pretty common in the animal kingdom. As you can see, we have uh, differently colored ones here too. So uh, in this species, Goliathus goliathus, it's your most common African goliath beetle, uh, they're highly variable. Most of them are this nice velvet red color, but a lot of them get these uh, high amounts of white in them, especially the females. And the males, they're usually more red. I love them so much. I think the males look like little cows and it's very cute, but also the females are very beautiful. Thanks so much, Jason, for letting us squeeze in one more episode of about these really cute little things. I have to showcase the cocoon, of course, Oh too. yes, of course. So uh, Goliath beetles make these very rigid cocoons in a specific clay substrate that you find in the rainforest. So this is the hardest part. They spend about five months in here. And um, we've, for the last five years, have been trying different mixes of clays and silts and sands. We finally find, found something this year that we think is going to work. We'll find out in January. <laughs> and by work, I mean result in very high survival in the pupil stage. That's where you lose a lot of them. Oh, no, he's Whoop. about to fall off the back of your head. <laughs> well, I think it might be bedtime for these little beetles. But thank you all so much for joining us on this wonderful adventure of beetles. Come yeah. back next week when we're going to talk about other arthropods. <laughs> Probably not great. <laughs> oh my god, that scared me. <laughs>